This is an Aspen Vista Collar in-service training video for healthcare professionals. The information in this video is offered as a guideline on how to apply and check the fit of the Aspen Vista Collar correctly. Collar applications should be used in conjunction with the clinical specialist instructions and should only be applied by those who have received the appropriate level of training and are competent to do so. The statements expressed in this film are not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice. There are pads for the front panel, chin piece and back panel. The Vista pads can be removed when soiled and changed for a new clean set. To replace and adjust the pads, the grey-green colour material grips the Velcro dots. The pads must cover all edges of the plastic to avoid touching the skin. To remove the pads from the front panel of the collar, lift off from the Velcro dots. To reattach the pads on the front of the collar, properly align the bottom larger pad with the corresponding Velcro dots and the plastic circle component of the collar. For the upper pad, ensure that the top piece covers the front and rear edges of the plastic components and attach to the Velcro dot on the chin piece. To remove the pad on the back panel, unthread the straps on each side and then pull the pad off the back panel. To replace the back pad, begin by attaching the grey-green sides of the pad to the Velcro dots on the back panel. Once the padding is aligned with the plastic, the straps will then need to be re-threaded through the padding and plastic slots. The plastic components can be cleaned with either mild soap and water or a disinfectant wipe. Ensure it is dry before the pads are reattached. The pads can be hand washed with mild soapy water, then lie flat to air dry. Remove the collar at least once per shift. A head hold should be performed on patients that are bed bound with unstable cervical spine injury. Any device in close contact with the patient's skin can increase the risk of pressure damage to the skin. This is caused by an increase in skin temperature and excess skin perspiration. In patients with moist skin, skin breakdown is increased fourfold compared to those with dry skin. To prevent pressure ulcers, the following precautions need to be taken. Keep the skin clean, dry and cool. Remove the collar, inspect the skin at least once per shift, particularly at the bony prominences. The usual pressure points are chin, collarbone, throat, sternum, earlobes and the back of the head. Check for signs of skin breakdown and palpate for skin changes, including within the hairline. Maintain hygiene under the collar, clean the skin under the collar daily. Wash with warm soapy water and dry thoroughly. Do not apply powder or lotions. Change the pads if they become wet or soiled. Make sure long hair is moved out of the way and that there is no jewellery, other objects or debris in between the patient's skin and the collar. If you have any concerns regarding the fit of the collar, please escalate your local specialist team for review and appropriate management.